Okay, in this video we're going to look at switching between a fully locked in rear naked choke position and then switching across to what we would refer to as an inner forearm choke position. It's uh, effectively a switch to a palm to palm grip that a lot of people get the broad concept of that but they don't always appreciate the fact that you're kind of switching off to a different style of submission or at least you've got that option as a very effective way of finishing the person. So Joe here is going to be getting his back taken at this point, keep this nice and relaxed so we can talk through it and I'm going to be locking this into a standard rear naked choke kind of position from here. So the important thing to understand, let's swing it a little bit more, is that we've got the biceps coming in on one side of the neck and the inner forearm coming in on the other side of the neck. So we would refer to this as a suppression position. We're suppressing the blood flow rather than choking on the front of the throat and windpipe from here and trying to restrict the air. So we're going for this, if you like, blood choke as it's crudely sometimes referred to from here in this position and locking this in. Now, in this placement, Joe, is going to be wise to start trying to break this position down by hand fighting and he's particularly going to want to strip this top hand off the head from here so whichever way you can grab it whichever hand you can grab it with doesn't matter this is a very typical kind of scenario you get into where the person before you get this hand buried and locked in they manage to strip that hand i'll keep hold of it for a second they manage to strip that hand out from here and then you're fighting for that position again <clears throat> When we're fully locked in on this rear naked choke from here and Joe's fighting up for hand positions, at this point before he strips it down, this is where we need to be prepared to switch to a palm to palm grip. When we switch this grip from here, so Joe's stripping the hand off of his head and I'm switching from here, it's the elbow that you need to take particular care and attention on and then look at your hand positions next. So with this elbow, I'm gonna drive it back and tuck it in from here. So I'm not just gonna leave this flared out where he can do more work around the hands. I'm gonna bury it hard into the back of his shoulder. So as I switch to this palm to palm grip, I'm gonna lock my elbow in and tuck it right in behind his shoulder here. So he's got no chance of getting hold of that hand again from here. He can still pull on this one, but he's got no chance of getting that other one. Palm to palm grip, no thumbs. It's gonna be nice and strong for you from this point. So I'm locking this in right behind his shoulder from here. So once more, I'm in, he strips this hand off, I switch and lock the elbow in and bury it here behind the back of my shoulder, his shoulder. My hand should be touching the top of his shoulder or neck area from there so that there's the minimum amount of this available to him. We we'll just switch the view slightly so we're swinging Joe around this way and look at the action that's going to go on on the arm as we finish now. So from this position here, if we've switched off to this palm to palm grip, I can just squeeze this up and still finish with biceps on one side and inner forearm on the other side. Just squeeze this up from here, drive the head forwards, depending on what position we're in, I'd have more or less leverage. But there's a really tight way that we can move off and switch it to a choke now. In other words, instead of having pressure on both sides of the neck, we're gonna switch it across so that the inner forearm comes straight into the throat. Nice thing about going on the uh, throat area from here, along the air wave, uh, the uh, air wave coming in, is that it's also super painful. So if we're going with suppressions and we're going with the blood flow from here, it can put this person to sleep very effectively, but they don't have as much pain as switching the attack to the front of the neck. So as we come across this one, transition from this biceps in the forearm to this position here, the pain should increase by a great amount for this person on the receiving end. So we just do this again from a casual position and then we'll lock it in a bit more. So from here I've switched that palm to palm grip and now look what I'm gonna do with my elbow. I'm gonna drive this elbow back towards this shoulder. This is this action here. Driving the elbow from its center point and trying to push it back towards this shoulder. So as we do this one, I'm just gonna let my forearm just slip a little and then drill it back from here and I'm into an inner forearm choke. Very tight, pain's gonna come on very quick. Now the other good time you can use this is if you're starting to get into a bicep and inner forearm kind of position with your rear naked choke, but then you can't quite get this elbow through far enough. 
and from here regardless of whether they strip the hands off or not you can see that you're not cleaning on both sides of the neck and now I'm going to switch this again here and just drive the elbow back in a uh, recent UFC event Kevin Gilvin Gastelum used this exact kind of backward drag on the elbow from here to choke out uh, Jake Ehrenberger so we'll go just one more time we're staying in this kind of direction I'm taking Joe's back I'm locking in this full locked position with the rear naked choke he strips this hand off and gets this one from here so now I'm gonna switch my palm to palm grip and bury this in behind the shoulder so don't start bothering with this side keep this same grip until you've switched the palm to palm and then here's where we take the elbow back so watch my elbow comes from the neck get my leg out of the last second from the neck or center of the throat back towards the shoulder here to supply the pressure on the inner forearm choke thanks James sorry <laughs> one more time I'll just swing it around one more time so I'm taking from here classic locked in biceps and inner forearm position he's going to strip his hand off switch bury the elbow in the back of the neck let my forearm slip just slightly and then the opposite side elbow drills backwards for inner forearm choke thanks Jim. so really nice way but just with a little bit of different action you can switch it from an attack that's coming on both sides of the neck to the front of the neck